The Orange County Sheriff's Office is releasing new videos surrounding 22-year-old Salathius Melvin's death at the Florida Mall. Some of the footage is redacted, but more is caught on camera in the aftermath of the deadly deputy-involved shooting than the events leading up to it. At a Thursday night Citizens Advisory Committee meeting, a captain working for Internal Affairs mentioned some of the deputies were not wearing cameras. And I don't believe that every officer that was at that scene had body-worn camera, and to my knowledge, they were officers that were plain clothes officers, not uniform personnel. Sheriff's Office captains told the committee that 1,100 of the 1,600 sworn personnel at the Orange County Sheriff's Office have been issued body-worn cameras. The Sheriff's Office is focusing on making sure uniformed deputies have devices first. Just this week, we're actually training um, a, a few more of our uh, plainclothes units uh, on cameras. The committee is sending this letter with recommendations on use of force policies to Sheriff John Mina. Some of the ideas include adding de-escalation strategies to training and having deputies carry a card with a graph on when to use force. On August 7th, the sheriff's office was looking for a shooting suspect and Melvin was with them in the Dick Sporting Goods parking lot of the Florida Mall. When deputies showed up, Melvin ran and the deputy who shot him claims the 22-year-old turned around and had a hand on a gun. Melvin was shot in the back and killed. His death has caused protests to erupt in the following weeks. One is planned Friday. In Orange County, Chris Guardaro, West 2 News. Breaking news.